Hey, I'm shooting this quick little video for you, showing you what is passive income. I've seen a couple of different examples that I use, and maybe you can implement one of these into your life. So I'm gonna highlight some of the areas I've been involved with passive income the last few years, uh, some as long as uh, almost 15 years, others as short as only a few months. So I'm gonna highlight passive rental income. This one I, had, I bought in 2003. I was uh, in the military at the time. And sometimes in the military, sometimes they may turn around and say, hey, you're gonna deploy. And that's what happened in this case. So I bought the home 2003, a few months later, turned around and say, hey, you're gonna deploy. And so my wife and I said, okay, let's put up for a, a rental. And uh, it earned passive income somewhat um, because my neighbor down below is a condo in Hawaii, grew up on the second floor. And the, the uh, tenant below us had a dog and the dog barked at everybody. So that deterred a lot of people from coming in and renting out, out the home. So if you do get into the rental business, make sure you do your research. Um, other than, you know, checking out the cost, location, making sure it's a place that could be a good rental for somebody in the future, but also do your homework and make sure it's appeasing to your future tenant because that dog down below, that cost me probably a hundred, hundred or so a month because of that. And because of its condo, you're also looking at the association fees and association fees that cut into my little bit of my profit every month. And over time, the association can always raise the rent of your rental property. So I had to uh, be careful doing that. Next one are stocks. I'm not talking about your normal everyday stocks. I am talking about stocks <coughs> that you may need to um, <coughs> earn passive income from because some, some of those will earn passive income, others will not. Um, yes, you may be heard of Apple, I'm sorry, not Apple, uh, like Facebook, Google, uh, other companies, but there are other stocks that will earn you passive income. Uh, such as the, some a lot of gas stocks or oil stocks will earn you passive income. Some real estate, um, some real estate stocks will earn you rental income. Sorry, uh, passive income. Uh, a lot of these are through dividend stocks. Um, that's who you earn the passive income. If that's a dividend stock, that means the company will pay you back a little bit of money every month. It, it's a, every month, or every quarter, or however long it may be determined. So you can earn some money through dividend stocks. Um, so always do your research, do your homework, make sure you find picking the right dividend stocks. Um, I will highlight some of the dividend stocks I'm invested in uh, the next week or two, because I'm going to cover down how I did over the month of February. Uh, the previous one I talked about how I did in January. Another, um, I did it a few weeks ago, I talked about how I earned passive income dividend stocks almost $1,000 back in January. Uh, February wasn't as much, but it was still, I was playing around moving some of my stocks around. Uh, selling some of the losers and buying some more of the winners. Another one you can get involved with passive income is affiliate marketing. You may have heard of affiliate marketing, but you may um, may have bought some things through affiliate marketing and I didn't realize it. Uh, one of the most well-known ones is probably Amazon. Amazon has an affiliate uh, marketing program. It doesn't cost you anything to get involved with it. But once somebody clicks on your link that you share, you will earn passive income through that. It could be a book you may have bought or sorry, a book you might have promoted, or it could be something else that you did promote and that somebody else may have bought it. Uh, the cool thing about Amazon is even if somebody clicks on your link, they are tagged for you for a certain amount of time, and if they happen to buy something other than what you recommend, they bought something else, you will earn a percentage of that. Um, the percentage is not very much, so if you want to be a really big Amazon seller, you've got to earn, you've got to get in big numbers to make some big money all through Amazon, through affiliate marketing. But there are also a lot of other ones out there. Um, like you can probably Google it. Google some of your companies that you may uh, well known and might know about it. Um, ask them, or Google, you know, the company's name and affiliate marketing, and something may pop up. Another one I'm affiliate of is uh, Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, as you may know, you know the 10x rule. Um, he has a lot of great information out there, and I'm affiliate mark. I earn money when I sell a product through affiliate marketing. Um, he's a great inspirational. Um, very successful entrepreneur who's done very well. And also he's written a great, some great books, you know, the text, 10, uh, 10X Rule, Sell or Be Sold. Uh, so check some of those books out if you haven't, because those are some really good books and really change your whole mindset about how you can involve with uh, affiliate marketing or something to that degree, or just become a better salesman in, in general. 
the next one I've been I've been a writer. Um, it's kind of funny. I I hated English when I was in high school, and somehow when I graduated college, I got a, a minor in a, in English, basically, basically in writing. Uh, so basically, I've gotten paid as a writer. Um, I get paid through a couple of different sources. Um, I wrote a book last year, an ebook. I took it off the shelf, but um, it, did, it did pretty well within the first month or two. But then it wasn't drawing as much sales because it wasn't really advertising as, as much. And because I released it as an ebook, I think a lot more people actually want to see the hardcover book. And that's what I'm still working on. I know I have a couple of people that are still interested, and I still need to get back and uh, get back and start working on that book and get it published to an actual book. But you can earn money. When you sell the book, uh, I'll probably talk about more of that in the future. But you can earn money selling doing that. There's a whole lot of other programs. I got picked up the other day as a, a writer for a I'm pretty soon going to be an international writer because a, a company out in Spain picked me up to be one of their writers. And I just signed up for that two days ago. So I know a whole lot about it other than taking a test to pass to get, be passed and uh, get certified to work with them in the future. So. Once I have more income coming in from that, I will talk about it and mention it and some of the loops and hurdles that are associated with that. And another one I'm involved with is peer-to-peer -peer lending. Uh, you may have heard it or you may not have. A lot of people are so used to thinking the only way they can get money is going through a bank, and which is true. A lot of people, a lot of people do get money through a bank. But there's another program out there called peer-to-peer -peer lending. You may have heard of it. Um, this way, you send a request in. It's very similar to doing a, a loan to a bank, but this way you're doing it amongst your peers, but you're doing it to a, a recognized and credible company. Uh, once you submit that offer and if they approve you, then a lot of people who have money to sp who, um, invest in you, they will do that. So you're pretty much near your peers uh, from all over the country. They will fund your project or whatever it may be, whether you're trying to get out of debt uh, whether you're trying to um, scale a business or whether, you, whether you're trying to um, any any old thing, you know, whether you're trying to get rid of student loans, uh, credit card debt, you know, sometimes these peer-to-peer -peer lenders they will read your story and um, they may put some money into it and try to uh, try to help you get out of your debt or you know, try to uh, fund your your project that you're currently working on. And the last one is YouTube. I know a lot of people are on here now, you're watching this through YouTube and trying to figure out how to be, earn money through YouTube. Uh, you can do it, but you've got to have a big base, a big platform, another number, number of subscribers to do that. I believe it's a thousand subscribers. And once you've had that platform, then YouTube will pay you off of ads to get run that they provide um, through your site. Um, so you've, made, you've probably seen some ads going through, watching other videos and Sometimes it gets annoying, but that's how some of these YouTubers earn money. You know, if someone happens to click on that uh, that video, makes a purchase through that, they will earn a percentage of that for profit. I'm not at that level yet. I haven't grown that big. I've only started this uh, YouTube channel. I've had the YouTube channel for every year, but I've only got serious about it in the last month. So maybe one day I'll, I'll talk more about YouTube and how much I've earned through YouTube. All right, that pretty much concludes everything I have today. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, and click the bell for notification. I'll be back again next Friday, but uh, take care. I will see you again soon.